Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Tafsir of the Quran. Surah Al Layl, Ayah 5 to 10. Surah Al Layl, Part 2. Chapter of the Night. Who is our Rub? Our Rub is Allah, and He takes care of us. What is our religion? Our religion is Islam, and we submit to Allah. Who is our Prophet? Our Prophet is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What is our book? The Quran. And we are grateful to Allah that we have the Quran because it is not written by a human. And it can never change because it is the word of Allah. We always refer back to the Quran because we will live a good life when we follow it. We love Allah. We love Islam. We love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we love the Qur'an. فَأَمَّا مَنْ عَطَى وَاتَّقَى فَصَدَّقَ بِلَا حُسْنَى فَسَنُيَسِّرُهُ لِلْيُسْرَى وَأَمَّا مَنْ بَقِلَ وَاسْتَغْنَى وَكَذَّبَ بِلَا حُسْنَى فَسَنُيَسِّرُهُ لِلْعُسْرَى Remember last time? We said that Allah swears by the night and day and by the male and female to show us that people are different. Some people do the best and some people do the worst. Some people believe and some people do not believe. Now let us see what are the qualities of the two types of people. The first group are the believers who do good and benefit from everything they have. For example, we have the intention to give someone a gift and then we think maybe they won't like it or maybe they have so much and won't appreciate it. But we should not let that stop us. If we have an intention to do good, then we should do it. When a person wants to do good, then he should not wait and think, I'll do it tomorrow, or they won't like it. What are their qualities? They always atwa, which is to give. Giving is not limited to only giving items or money, but to give worship, such as praying, fasting, reading the Quran, and to give good manners and good words, such as smiling and saying a kind word to others. When we do good to others, we should not feel, why don't they appreciate it, or why don't they say thank you, or I give them a gift, so why don't they give me a gift in return? If we feel, I won't do it again, then it shows we are doing it for the people. That's why when we give, it is not just about giving, but a taqa to also hold ourselves from saying bad things or doing bad things. For example, Someone might give others, and then he tells the people, I'm the one who gave you. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have this. And this is shows as if we have a favor on others. This does not show a taqa, holding ourselves from saying bad things. Why did this person give and do good and help himself from saying or doing bad? <laughs> Because he believed in Al-Husna, which is to believe in La ilaha illallah, and he wanted to be rewarded by Allah, he believes in his reward. We give and do good because we believe in Allah. So we do good things for Allah and not for the people. If we do things for the people, then we will get frustrated because we'll feel they don't appreciate me. They don't say thank you. It shows we are waiting for reward from them. The one who does good for Allah, then what will happen? Allah will make everything easy for him. We all want an easy life. We want to do good with ease and we want to stay away from what's bad with ease. We don't want to face difficulties in life. When we learn about Allah, the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the Qur'an, then Allah will make the way to Jannah easy. 
If we want things to be for us, then we should give a'ato, do good and not think about the people, but do it for Allah, not to do bad. At-taqa, believe in Allah and what his reward. Saddaqa bil husna, wa amma man baqila wa staghna. Here is the second group, which is opposite the first. This person is Bakhla. He will not do if others don't do for him. He thinks if someone doesn't smile to me, then I won't smile. If someone doesn't give me, then I won't give. And he's a stagna. He feels fine on his own. He doesn't feel he needs Allah or the people. He doesn't feel that he needs reward from Allah or to go to Jannah. This is not good because we should feel poor to Allah and that we are in need of him and his Jannah. He does not believe in Allah and does not believe in Jannah or reward from Allah. So what will happen to his life? His life will be hard and filled with bad things. He talks badly. He shows bad manners to others. He doesn't pray. He doesn't care for others. These are the two groups and surely we want to be from the first group. From this we learn, we should give and the more we give, the more Allah will give us. When we give, we should hold ourselves from doing bad. When doing good to believe in Allah and that he will reward us and not the people. So we do it for Allah and not the people. Then Allah will make our life easy. When we don't give and feel that we don't need, then it shows we don't believe in Allah or his Jannah. Then our life will become hard.